Hey guys, I'm literally just propped up on my bathroom counter right now. I just wanted to do a quick comparison video for you guys talking about two different curling irons that I really, really like because I feel like a lot of times people just kind of pay attention to the more expensive ones and I feel like technology has come pretty far and there are some more affordable ones, you know, and I want to help you guys make a decision between should you, you know, go higher up or should you, you know, maybe even just get a more affordable one. Here, sorry, let me move back. Anyway, so the two top curling irons I'm going to talk about are both from Flatiron Experts. So this one is the Babyliss Pro, and this is the one that I curled my hair with today. If you guys want to see how I did it, you guys can check out this very old tutorial. And then this is the one that I got recently from them. This is the Hot Tools, so just their spring curling iron. So the real difference here and what makes the, you know, the huge price difference, well, it's not huge. This one is $45, and this one is around $85. So really what makes the price difference is that this one's made out of ceramic and tourmaline. And this one's just metal. So this is kind of the more traditional curling iron. So usually with more traditional curling irons, they don't really have ceramic plates. They do tend to get a little bit squeaky right around here, around the hinge. I've noticed that a lot, you know, where they would be with curling irons. They just tend to be really loud. And these don't heat up as quickly and they don't retain the heat quite as well. And they usually, generally speaking, don't last as long. But I think, you know, technology, like I said, has come a long way. And so now, you know, even the more inexpensive ones come with a swivel rod. It makes it really easy on your wrist to curl your hair because you're not, you know, really flipping around your wrist all the time. And then it also comes with a lot of different heat settings, which a lot of more inexpensive ones that it used to have. Now this has 10 heat settings and it goes up to 430 degrees Fahrenheit. So it gets pretty hot. Now you guys are probably thinking, well, why is the more expensive one more expensive? So the main difference with a ceramic iron and a regular just metal iron is that these ones heat up better, heat up faster, and they hold the heat better as well. So while you're curling your hair, they're not going to lose as much heat because every time you curl your hair, every time you flat iron your hair, the second it touches your hair, it transfers heat into your hair and it takes a while for it to heat back up again to get back to that right temperature. And so that's really one of the main bonuses. Also, it's that it's just honestly better for your hair. These release negative ions and the only difference between a ceramic and a ceramic tourmaline iron, which is what this one is, is tourmaline really just enhances, you know, ceramics qualities. But what ceramic irons do is they produce more negative ions. And so what that does is it basically helps seal your hair shaft and make it smoother. And it also heats it up in a different way. It heats it up from the inside out. So your hair isn't going to lose as much moisture. It's going to be sleeker and shinier. and also helps with things like reducing smells or reducing any kind of like funky hair oils. And so that's really the main benefit with ceramic. This one also comes with a longer warranty. This one comes with a two-year warranty. But I think if you got this one, you know, it would still be fine for two years, but they only guaranteed this one for one year. And this one's also a better bet if you're someone who travels. You know, if you're someone who travels all the time, this one is actually dual voltage, so you can bring it, you know, pretty much anywhere and you'll be fine, you'll be able to use it if you're, you know, a big traveler. And this one also comes with a swivel cord, and it just comes with one more foot. It's a nine foot cord instead of the eight foot cord. By the way, I made a comparison chart for you guys, so you guys can see that on my blog down in the description box, just because I know this is so much information, it's going to be really hard to remember. The real question for you is, what's important to you in a curling iron? If it's price, then get the Hot Tools one. The Hot Tools one is still a really great curling iron. You're not going to regret it. It'll curl your hair well. It'll, I'm sure it'll last for a few years. Now, why would you want to go for the more expensive one? Maybe you curl your hair all the time, so it gets a lot of heat damage. Or maybe you're somebody who is very, very cautious with your hair. You just want to have, you know, the best of the best, and then this would be the one to get. Or if you're someone who has, you know, hair that breaks very easily, or you have very fine hair, or you have very fragile hair that's been dyed many times, then this would be the one to get. Oh, and this one also comes with 30 different heat settings, but it only goes to 428 degrees Fahrenheit. They go to the around the same temperature, but then this one, like I said, is going to retain the heat a little bit more. I really don't think that you'll notice that this one loses heat more easily until kind of more down the road, you know, in a year or so, then you probably notice. I feel like they just age a lot worse than more expensive curling irons do. And so that's pretty much it. I just wanted to compare these two for you guys if you guys are curious. You know, what's the differences? What do you really need? And that really just depends on are you very concerned about heat damage? You know, is price a really big factor for you? Do you need something that can travel? You know, so this is going to be a really good option if you need to travel, if you have very delicate hair. And this is a good one if you want just, you know, a curling iron to use very occasionally because you don't curl your hair that often. This would be a great buy. So that's pretty much it. I have a little bit of a surprise for you guys, though. I'm going to do a giveaway. So I'm going to give away one Babyliss iron and one Hot Tools iron. All you have to do to enter the contest is just visit the Flat Iron Experts website. Um, that's going to be down in the description box. Uh, by the way, I have a 5% off code if you guys want my 5% off code. I'm going to leave that down in the description box as well. All you have to do to enter the contest is just browse around the website, choose one product, and copy its name. So enter the item's name as a comment and then that'll be your entry. You guys can enter as many times as you want for two weeks. I'm going to leave this open for two weeks and then I'm going to announce the winners. 
But that's it. I just wanted to share that with you guys because I feel like there's so many products out there and it gets kind of confusing. And because it gets kind of confusing, I, like I said, made a graph and put it on my blog so you guys can see. It kind of has something to, you know, decide on by their own. So if you guys have any questions for me, just ask me on Facebook. I am going to leave my Facebook link down there. Or you guys can just ask me on Twitter, you know, if you have any questions about the curling irons, just because it'll be really hard to reach me through the comments box on this video. Just, that's usually how giveaways are. And you guys can enter, like I said, as many times as you want. I'm going to leave the instructions on how to enter down in the description box. Good luck, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. And once again, if you guys want to know how to, I curled my hair, then you guys can check out this video right here. So that's it. Bye. <laughs>